Welcome to the Spot On mobile payments application for iOS. To get started, log into the app using your Spot On merchant credentials. Once you've logged in, you will see the terminal screen. Settings. Before processing your first transaction, manage your settings by selecting the menu icon in the top left corner and navigate to Settings. Signature Required. In the Signature Required section, you can decide whether or not your customers have to sign using their finger or a stylus in order to complete a transaction. You can choose to never require a signature, only require a signature when the transaction total is $20 or more, or always require a signature no matter the total. Once you've chosen one of these three options, select Done. Tax. In the tax section, you can decide whether or not taxes will be applied to transactions by default by toggling the switch. If you choose to apply tax, you will have the option at the start of each transaction whether or not tax will be applied to that specific transaction. If you do not choose to apply, this option will not be available at the start of each transaction. In the tax rounding section, you can choose your preferred tax rounding method. You can choose standard rounding or to always round up. Please see the descriptions on screen for more information about each method. Tips. In the tips section, you can decide whether or not your customers will be able to leave tips on transactions by toggling the switch. If you choose to allow tips on your transactions, you can then define three default tip percentages, which will be suggested to your customers when they're checking out. They will be able to select one of these three options to be automatically calculated and added to their subtotal. Set each preset by selecting a text box and entering a percentage using the number pad and selecting set rate. Legal. Selecting legal will open SpotOn's website where you can view information about SpotOn's merchant terms, user terms, and privacy policy. Hardware status. You can view the connection status of your SpotOn mobile card reader from the hardware status section. Once your SpotOn mobile card reader is paired, you are ready to accept card payments. Terminal. Navigate to the terminal once your settings have been completed. In order to begin a transaction, enter the transaction amount using the number pad. If you've indicated in your settings to apply tax to your transactions, you will see a switch labeled Include Tax. Select your customer's tender type, cash or charge, to continue. If your customer is paying with cash, on the next screen, enter the amount of cash you received from your customer and select Continue. You will then see a transaction complete screen where you can view a summary of the transaction, including the calculated change due back to your customer. You have the option to email receipt to your customer by entering your customer's email and selecting send. Select close to return to the terminal. If your customer is paying with a card, on the next screen, you'll be prompted to submit payment. To use your card reader, swipe or dip your customer's card on the card reader. As the card is being read, you will see its status on the screen. To enter the card information manually, select enter manually and fill out your customer's card information in the form provided. Select Submit Payment Info once the information has been filled out. If you've indicated in your settings to allow customers to leave a tip on your transactions, the customer will have the option to select either None, one of the three tip percentages you define in your settings, or a custom tip. Have your customer choose a tip option and select Complete. If you've indicated in your settings to request a signature from your customer and the transaction total aligns with your selection, i.e. $20 or more versus any amount, the customer will be prompted to sign the screen using their finger or a stylus if you have one. Have your customer give their signature and select Submit Signature. You will then see a Transaction Complete screen where you can view a summary of the transaction. You have the option to email a receipt to your customer by entering your customer's email and selecting Send. Select Close to return to the terminal. Transaction History. In order to view your transaction history, navigate to Transaction History, including both cash and card payment transactions and refunded transactions. Here you will see a list of your past transactions ordered chronologically with the most recent transactions at the top of the list. You can filter your transaction history by date using the date picker at the top of the screen. You can also search for a specific transaction by the transaction's ID or by the last four digits of the card used during the transaction by typing in the search bar at the top of the screen. Selecting a transaction will allow you to view the details about the transaction. You have the option to email a receipt to your customer by entering in your customer's email and selecting send. You have the option to void the transaction by selecting void transaction. Then you will be prompted to verify the void. For cash transactions, you have the option to refund the transaction by selecting refund transaction. Then you have the option to email the receipt to your customer. Select close to return to transaction history. In order to leave feedback on the app, select the send feedback menu option. You'll be redirected to your device's email app, where a new email has been auto-filled with SpotOn's support email address. 